What if we told you that the moon, our beloved natural satellite, is actually a hollow spaceship brought to Earth by ancient aliens? Now, before you dismiss this as just another wild science fiction tale, let's take a moment to consider the origins of this theory. It all began with a controversial book titled We Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 billion swindle, penned by Bill Casing. This is where the seed of the hollow moon theory was first planted. Casing suggested that the moon, as we know it, is not a natural celestial body. Instead, it is an artificial structure, a spaceship, if you will, that was brought to our planet by a civilization far more advanced than ours. But why would anyone think our solid, crater-pocked moon is hollow? The reason behind this lies in some peculiar anomalies that have been observed over the years. Consider the moon's unusually low density. It's significantly lighter than one would expect if it were a solid mass. It's almost as if something, or rather a lack of something, is causing this discrepancy. Could it be that the moon is hollow on the inside? Then there's the moon's unique orbit. It's tidally locked with Earth, always showing us the same face, a feature that is rather unusual for a natural satellite. This has led some to believe that the moon's orbit may have been manipulated or controlled, again pointing to the possibility of an alien influence. And let's not forget the strange sounds that the moon made during the Apollo missions. The astronauts reported that the moon rang like a bell when struck, an observation that seems to indicate a hollow interior over a solid one. These intriguing anomalies form the crux of the hollow moon theory. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover more evidence that supports this outlandish claim and reveal the shocking truth about the alien base hidden inside the moon. Before we dive into the evidence that supports this outlandish claim, remember to hit subscribe and like, turn notifications on and let us know your thoughts about the hollow moon theory. Having understood the claims surrounding the moon's hollow nature, it's crucial to delve into the scientific understanding of the moon's composition. The moon, as per our current knowledge, is a differentiated world. This means it's composed of layers with varying densities and materials. The heaviest constituents have sunk down to the moon's center, forming a dense core predominantly composed of iron and some nickel. This core, however, is relatively small, only about 20% of its diameter, a size quite small compared to other terrestrial worlds. Above this core, lighter materials have risen to the surface, creating distinct layers. The silicate portion of the moon is particularly interesting. It's enriched in FAO and depleted in MGO relative to the bulk composition of the silicate earth. This composition conflict with the possibility of the formation of the moon from the earth's primitive mantle and does not find an adequate explanation in the current canonical and non-canonical models of the origin of the moon. Could this be another hint towards the moon's unnatural formation? Or is it just a natural occurrence that we're yet to understand fully? This layered mystery adds another dimension to the hollow moon theory, making it ever more intriguing. As we explore further, we'll uncover more startling evidence supporting this theory. Scene script. Let's start with some scientific anomalies that suggest the moon is not a natural body. Firstly, let's consider the moon's low density. It's about 3.3 times less dense than Earth. Now that's lighter than any known rock on our planet. This fact alone raises eyebrows. Some scientists argue that the moon's lighter density is due to its smaller size and different composition. But could it be because the moon is hollow? Next, let's talk about the moon's unusual orbit. It's perfectly circular and synchronized with Earth. In other words, the same side of the moon always faces us. What a convenient position for a surveillance base, don't you think? Some might argue this is just a coincidence, a result of tidal locking. But isn't it a bit too perfect for a natural object? Then there's the peculiar instance of the moon ringing like a bell during the Apollo missions. When the astronauts hit the moon's surface with a seismic experiment, it vibrated for nearly an hour, like a gong. This suggests that the moon could have a hollow interior. Scientists say it's due to the moon's dry interior, but it's still a mystery why it behaved like a bell. Lastly, let's look at the moon's lack of craters and volcanic activity. Despite being hit by numerous asteroids, the moon's surface is surprisingly smooth, and there's no sign of volcanic activity, which is unusual for a celestial body. Could it be that the moon has a protective shield that erases craters? Or perhaps its surface is maintained by someone or something? These anomalies raise questions about the moon's true nature. 
Is it just a rock floating in space? Or is it a spaceship brought here by an ancient alien civilization? Perhaps it's time to look at the moon with a new perspective and question what we've been told. After all, the truth is often stranger than fiction. The moon also hosts mysterious structures that hint at alien presence. Among these enigmatic formations, we find the lunar dome, the shard, the tower, and the monolith. Each of these artifacts, apart from being visually intriguing, carries a tale of extraterrestrial intelligence. Let's start with the lunar dome. This peculiar structure, unlike any natural formation we know, seems to be a dome-shaped construction, complete with what looks like a central pillar. The perfect symmetry and design of this dome point to a level of architectural sophistication that is beyond natural geological processes. Next, we have the shard. Standing tall at over a mile high, this towering object defies the laws of physics as we know them. Its sheer size and vertical orientation suggest it's not a product of natural erosion or meteoric impact. Can we then suppose it's a creation of an intelligent entity? Moving on, there's the tower. This colossal structure, with an estimated height of five miles, dwarfs everything around it. The tower's existence challenges our understanding of the moon's geology. Natural forces alone cannot account for such a structure. If nature didn't erect this tower, who or what did? Lastly, we have the monolith. This rectangular object stands alone in the lunar landscape, its sharp angles and flat surfaces contrasting starkly with the surrounding terrain. It bears an uncanny resemblance to the monoliths on Mars and Phobos, hinting at a common creator. These structures are not natural formations, they are evidence of an alien existence. The lunar dome, the shard, the tower and the monolith all defy our understanding of natural geological processes. Their presence suggests the hand of intelligent design, possibly of extraterrestrial origin. Are these structures remnants of an ancient alien civilization? Or are they active installations serving purposes beyond our comprehension? The answers remain elusive, but one thing is clear. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, is a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. So, if the moon is a hollow spaceship, who brought it here and why? The question that has been buzzing around in your mind since we started this journey. Well, let's dive into the theories, shall we? One hypothesis suggests an ancient alien race known as the Anunnaki, the Nephilim, or the Watchers, depending on your preferred nomenclature, is responsible. These beings, far advanced from us, are said to have crafted humanity, manipulating our development to serve their own ends. And what better way to keep an eye on their creation than from a hollowed out moon parked conveniently in our night sky? The moon in this context is more than a celestial body. It's a base, a monitoring station observing our every move. The aliens there, unseen by us, could be influencing human affairs, pulling the strings behind major global events. And in times of crisis or conflict, these watchers intervene, subtly guiding humanity along a path of their design. But it doesn't stop there. Imagine, if you will, the moon as a gateway, a portal for these alien beings, a conduit for travel between dimensions, between star systems, an interstellar hub hidden in plain sight. Some theories even suggest that humans are sometimes abducted, whisked away to this lunar base for experimentation or observation. Now I know what you're thinking. These theories sound like something straight out of a science fiction novel. And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. They're extraordinary claims that require extraordinary evidence, but isn't it intriguing to think about? To imagine that our familiar moon, the one we've admired since childhood, may be harboring secrets far beyond our comprehension. These theories may seem far-fetched, but they offer plausible explanations for the moon's mysteries. The anomalies we've discussed, the artifacts we've seen, all point to something more than a simple chunk of rock orbiting our planet. Could it be that the truth of our moon is stranger than any fiction we could dream up? Only time will tell. Now that you know about the hollow moon theory, what will you do with this knowledge? This is your invitation to question, to explore, and to seek the truth. The official narrative we've been fed for years about the moon being a natural satellite may not be the entire story. There are anomalies, inconsistencies, and mysteries that suggest something more. The hollow moon theory, as outlandish as it may seem, provides a compelling explanation for these puzzles. But don't just take our word for it. Dive into your own research. Explore the wealth of information available at your fingertips. 
read the theories, scrutinize the images and weigh the evidence, ask the questions that others may shy away from, challenge the status quo. Remember, every great revelation begins with a spark of curiosity, a willingness to question and the courage to seek answers. And as you embark on this journey of discovery, we encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions. The comments section below is your platform, your space to voice your ideas, your doubts, your insights. Engage in meaningful dialogue with others who, like you, are intrigued by the mysteries of the universe. Let's cultivate a community of critical thinkers, of truth seekers, of explorers who dare to venture beyond the familiar and the accepted. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to show your support for our mission to uncover the truth. Your engagement fuels our work and together we can shine a light on the hidden corners of our world, our solar system and perhaps even our universe. So, what's next for you? Will you let this information fade into the background noise of your day, or will you let it awaken a thirst for knowledge, a hunger for truth? It's a choice only you can make. Don't just accept what you're told, seek the truth, share your thoughts, and remember, the truth is out there waiting to be discovered.